about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Okay, so we've done a lot of upgrade videos and Martin's done a lot of changes on the boat but uh, let's go inside and check out the galley. Follow me. Okay, so today we're in the galley and uh, and I want to talk about a few things. Uh, what to keep on the counter, spices, we're going to go over what I keep in my drawers and my cupboards. I also want to show you how you can you have a little bit more counter space. Um, we'll talk about the electric grill. We'll talk about the oven. And at the very end, we'll talk about what I use to clean the galley. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what I keep in the drawers on the boat. So in drawer one, I keep uh, just your normal stuff like you would keep at home. I keep uh, tongs, knives, silverware, uh, measuring spoons, um, a can opener and a bottle opener, just your normal things there. In drawer number two, I keep uh, measuring cups, uh, tools for crabbing and shrimping, uh, steak knives, my uh, holders for my magma pans. Uh, a pad of paper, pins, and uh, scissors, and that kind of stuff in there. And the third drawer, I keep uh, most of my uh, utensils for cooking and stuff on the boat. And then I keep this as a hot plate, so you can put hot pans on your table or counter so you don't have to worry about it melting. And they're great because they're just fold up really compact. So let's go over what I keep in some of my uh, cupboards. I keep these is where I, I put uh, all my plates in these. They're great little holders. Um, and then I have another one that I keep uh, bowls and stuff in. So I have these um, airtight containers and I keep um, rice, coffee, flour, um, I think I have about five of them and I keep them on the boat for all my dry storage and I'll show you later when we're going over what I keep in the V-Birth um, and that uh, you'll see where I keep all my other dry food but this I keep at uh, the bottom shelf so these uh, I have three of these little dash cookers um, and they're uh, awesome you can make four inch waffles um, I have another one that does uh, fried eggs or single pancakes and then one that you can do a grill that you can do uh, hamburgers or like paninis uh, breakfast sandwiches whatever you want in here Martin says these pull about 350 watts but it's such a short period that he says I'm okay to use it on the boat he says I'm okay to use it and that's all that matters <laughs> If you're anchored with the inverter, you can only plug in one of these at a time. If you're at a marina and you're using the shore power, of course you can use, uh, you can plug in and use more than one. But the inverter only allows uh, you to use one uh, thing at a time, like the microwave, uh, one of these cookers. If I'm making coffee, I have to do those all one at a time. Okay, so next I wanna talk about these uh, serving dishes. Um, they're great. They all have their lids. They have a little pop-up uh, vent for the microwave. So when you want to use them, you just pop them on out. 
you use them to serve food in. Then when you're all done, you just pop them, pop them back down. Lid goes right back on it. And they come in these sizes. I do have some other ones that I keep uh, down in the V-Birth in my storage. So these are great. They're nice and compact. So I keep uh, a, uh, this is kind of a cool little container. Um, and I just keep it on the bottom uh, shelf there. And it has uh, knives, forks, and spoons. And it's all kind of cutely labeled. So that way everybody can grab what they want. And there's no digging around for silverware. And I do keep uh, glasses, cups in the cupboard down here on the top. So let's talk about provisioning the boat. So when I bring uh, food and stuff down to the boat, I usually go shopping, then I bring everything down here and load the boat. And when I'm loading the boat, I'm taking off all the packaging that I don't need. Um, a food saver is awesome to have. Uh, most of the time they have uh, these really big ones. That's what I have at home and uh, there's just not enough space on the boat. But Food Saver came out with this little one here. Uh, and this, it has a little base that it goes in. And uh, this can come off for cleaning. But I'll show an example of it. It charges in about an hour and a half. And it'll, I used it all summer and this is, it's finally died on me. And I use it for all my food to go in the fridge. This is what I use when we're uh, shrimping and crabbing as well. So these little food saver bags, they're Ziploc bags. So you put sandwich meat in here, seal it up, you know, and then it has this little circle here. And in the middle of that circle, there's a little hole. And this right here in the center goes right on that little hole. And then you push the button and it sucks everything out. The great thing about these is now I want to make a sandwich. I open it back up my Ziploc bag back up and it comes in a bunch of different sizes. This is a sandwich bag size and then I have a or quart size and then I have the gallon size um, and you take your so you open it up take say I want a couple pieces of sandwich meat out take it out put it close it back up and then just reseal it and then when you're when it's empty I just wash them out dry them out and reuse them for a few times. So this is one of my favorite tools on the boat. Um, that way it lets you, when you're putting stuff in the refrigerator, it lets you get rid of all the packaging so you ha you can get more in your refrigerator. Um, it lets you get more in your freezer. I usually repack all the meat and stuff that you get at the store because they always have the styrofoam and it takes up a lot of space. But these uh, bags are, or this little food saver makes my life a lot easier. So let's talk about the my spices here when I keep up on top here. So I keep this little, this is a really cool little container. It comes in a little box. Uh, and so it's got a side with big hole for pouring, measuring out, or you just have the one with the little holes. And uh, this comes in a little six pack. I also keep steak seasoning, some uh, flavorings for water, Johnny seasoning, salt and pepper, uh, Mrs. Dash lemon and herb. I keep uh, ground cinnamon for uh, like oatmeal and that kind of stuff. Um, and then over here, I just keep your hand soap, my dish detergent because it's just easier to grab it from here. And then our coffee cups. Another cool thing about uh, Ranger Tug is they they try to use all the space they can, and it it can have dual purpose. Like if you look at this seat right here. If I take this seat and I move it up, now I have all of this counter space to work with. So you get a little bit more space in the galley. Now I do keep this paper towel holder, but um, it has these little rubber nubs on the bottom. And I think that's what helps it keep it from sliding. It doesn't, I don't have it stick down, I never have. And it doesn't move or anything. I haven't, it hasn't fallen off the counter once. So I do want to go over um, just a little quick thing about uh, storing stuff on the top of the counter. So 
a lot of people are tra transition when they get a boat they trans they're transitioning from rv so they've never had a boat before but they've had an rv and some things you can you can bring over from an rv and other things you can't so what you have to keep in mind is that when you're in an rv you're just going down the road right you may have a little bit of bumpy road but you're just going down the road um when you're in a boat it's a total different ball game because well, instead of doing this like an rv here's your boat you're like this right you have waves side to side you're bumping up and down so when i think about bringing things on the boat and what i want to store on the counter i keep that in mind let me give you an example so if you keep stuff back here or i would just tell you to be careful because this is usually what happens you think it's pretty secure because it's right back here it's not going to go anywhere but wait, here's what happens on a boat and then what happens when it's here down on the floor it goes and i did want to show you so if you're curious about where your water level is so if you haven't gotten your boat yet on ranger tugs they keep it right here in the galley so it's on we have a little over a half a tank and then that's the off when we were talking about counter space earlier let me show you this when you get your boat you do have a, so this is your oven and so you it does come with uh, the uh, attachments that go here to hold your pans I don't really use those so I just have them stored down in the V-bird but what I have done I found this great cutting board fits right in there and uh, on top of your stove you have this little kind of like a little frame that goes around it here so I found this cutting board here as you'll see it's a little bit about a half an inch on the top short and a half an inch on the side this opening is 16 uh, by 12 is 16 inches by 12 and a half inches so you'll find things like that they give you just a little bit more space um because you're always looking for ex extra space on a boat the other thing i want to talk about is the oven so here's your oven you have a top burner and you light the bottom bottom and top and uh what i do when we're not uh when i'm not using the oven and we're underway I put I store my bread in here works great it doesn't get squished so I found this splatter guard on Amazon it's real nice it goes really small so it, it can just go right in your oven and what I do with it what I do with it is I put it right there so when I'm making bacon uh, or anything else that might splash and I don't worry about catching anything on fire because I really don't feel heat up here uh, on the things that I have on the shelf, so I've never had to move those. What you do get is you get a bunch of splatter on all this stuff and the, all over here, so then you have to wipe it all down. So, the splatter guard, I just wipe down the splatter guard. And then let's talk about the pan that goes inside the oven. So, the measurements inside your oven is 14 inches by 10 inches deep. Here's a pan that fits in there perfectly. So, before I move on to the pans and things I use with my oven. Let's talk quickly about the electric grill that you have in the cockpit. So the electric grill is great when you're uh, at a marina where you're plugged into shore power. Um, it doesn't work so well if you're uh, on a mooring ball or anchored. And the reason is, is it draws so much power um, that you just can't keep up with it. Now we did do, we did try it once Martin upgraded to three fireflies and the solar and we were able to use it but it pulls so much out of your battery that I have just got a couple of grilling pans that I use on the stove when we're anchored so here's what I have so I have this grilling pan and you can grill steaks and then on the back side you can make pancakes whatever you want to make and it just sits just like that okay let's go over a few other pans that I use on the boat here uh, I also have this little grill pan pan this is great because it folds up it's pretty compact it just fits down in here 
Uh, I keep the steamer basket for when we're doing crabs or steaming vegetables. So this is my colander. Perfect for the boat. I just keep this small casserole dish just eight by eight. And the last thing, I'll just show you the bin here. And the last thing I keep is a set of magma pans right here. So I have a fry pan, a small saucepan, and then a bigger uh, saucepan. It's great. Shelf just pushes right in. Nice little drawer. These all uh, close and this locks to keep it from falling out. Okay, so one last thing I want to talk about before I end the video here. Um, the cleaners I use. So for the windows on the inside, I use this glass cleaner. It works great. Uh, and then for the teak, I use the Bayes High Performance Teak. It's when, when you put it on, it's instantly dry. It's not greasy and the shine is beautiful. And then the, let's see, for the stainless steel, the oven, the refrigerator and the microwave, I use this stainless steel uh, cleaner polish. It works great. It's just one I've just been trying out. I've used it uh, for a couple months now and I love it. And it just takes a little bit, but it cleans as it polishes. It's a gorgeous when you're done with it. And then I use uh, brass polish on my portholes. The easiest way to do this is to just unscrew the six screws. This, this comes right off and you just lay it down, clean it, and then uh, put it back up and screw it in. Really simple. Otherwise you can, I guess you could, you could tape it, but then you have to mess, you may get stuff on the teak. So I found it easy just to take it off. So thanks for watching. Uh, so go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a video. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you want to, I would love to hear what everybody else is doing on their boat and how you provision your boat. So if you have any great ideas, let me know. And until the next video, stay tuned for more channel surfing. Have a great day.